Hey, hey Pluto, hi. <laughs> Boy, it must be fun to work here. Although the biggest drawback to working in a theme park is that you must live under constant fear of deadly terrorist attacks. <laughs> Welcome to the Mickey's Breakfast Jamboree. My name is Billiam, and I'll be serving you today. You guys here on a special occasion? Well, we're here on that new Magical Gatherings family package. Got the whole Matusik clan down from Ohio. Right, guys? Say hi. Hi! hi. Well, great. Let me tell you Mickey's specials today. We've got steak and eggs served with some home fries and Mickey waffles. Woo! Oh, I love me some steak and eggs. <laughs> Since they found mad cow disease in the U.S., I'm not taking any chances. It can live in your body for years before it ravages your brain. You're enjoying your day, everything's going your way, then along comes Debbie Downer. Always there to tell you about a new disease, a car accident or killer bees. We we'll beg her to spare you, Debbie, please, but you can't stop Debbie Downer. Well, we did it, gang. We pulled it off. A family reunion at Disney. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ride that haunted elevator thingy. <laughs> it drops you straight down. <laughs> this is my dream come true. I mean, I'm totally serious. Tigger hugged me at the door, and I thought I was going to cry. <laughs> I guess Roy isn't doing as well as they first thought. <laughs> what? Who's Roy? Roy of Siegfried and Roy. He was attacked by his own tiger and suffered devastating injuries. So, uh, hey, who wants to go on Space Mountain with me? Me! Oh, yeah. I want to see the Country Bear Jamboree. Ooh. I want to go to every country in Epcot and greet them in their own native language. Hola, konnichiwa, hi. <laughs> Did you guys hear about that train explosion in North Korea? <laughs> Media is so sensitive there, so secretive. <laughs> We may never know how many people perished. <laughs> Who's ready for Mickey oh, Wombos? Me, 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 me. Oh, yeah. oh my God! I just made eye contact with Pluto, and he's coming over here. Pluto! Pluto! Pluto. Pluto. Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm hugging Pluto. I'm at Disney World. Pluto. Somebody take a picture. Oh, I want to be in it. I want to be in this one. Well, you guys, Disney World really is fun. It makes me feel like a kid again. I mean, the time before my two-year stint at Children's. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Pluto. Hi. Boy, it must be fun to work here. Although the biggest drawback to working in a theme park is that you must live under constant fear of deadly terrorist attacks. Pluto! Pluto, wait, where are you going? With that costume on, he's probably in the early stages of heat stroke. <laughs>
my trip to Disney. <laughs> I didn't say a word during It's a Small World when you talked about low birth weight or during the fireworks when you went over, when you went about about feline AIDS. It's the number one killer of domestic cats. Play the same song over and over. We make seven dollars an hour. It's a dream job. Well, Hawaii is a beautiful place to live. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen it before. It was covered in hotels. Yeah, here's a fun fact about Hawaii. Our biggest export is coffee, and our biggest import is fat white tourists. <laughs> from Boston Boston let me ask you guys a question uh, when you guys go to a restaurant in Boston is it acceptable to wear Crocs and a bathing suit what well you know in Hawaii we have a name for people like you garbage <laughs> You must love living here. Oh, it's peaceful. It's peace peaceful here in your ocean front resort. Because my brother and I here live 15 miles inland. Yeah. There's a rusty pickup truck with weeds growing out of it. Yeah. That's yeah. our house. Yeah. You want to come visit? It's real easy to get to. You just drive through the shanty town, make a right at the meth lab, and you'll see a 15 year old girl who got pregnant by an out of town businessman. Then ask for her brother. That's me. Hano, hano. Please. I hate this kind of thing. Squeegee musicians, skip me. Okay, okay. We respect that. Respect. Right, right. Respect that. I dropped out of high school, so now I have to dance like a monkey in front of you people. You guys probably assume that Hawaiians are uneducated. It's not like uh, our president's Hawaiian or anything. Yeah. Barack Obama, isn't he from Illinois? You know what? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's okay. She knows. Now she knows. Anyway, aloha. Oh, wow. Aloha. You know, you really made an effort to learn our language. Yeah, you know, uh, aloha has multiple meanings. Yeah, it can mean hello, goodbye, or suck it. So, uh, aloha. Yeah, aloha hard. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, 
think our shift's over now. Yeah, it's too bad, brother. I was having fun. Yeah, I really like those people. Yeah. All right, let's do let's it. Let's go. Can I ask you? Uh, my English is no, sure. it's no good. Sure. I have always wanted to be here. It is so hard, and because uh, people do not under understand uh, what I say. How do I? Uh, uh, Bicycle? Uh, no, um, uh, hail a taxi. Uh, hail a taxi. Yes. How do you say that? Hail. Hail a taxi. Uh huh. I was a stowaway. I, uh, I came in the cargo hold of the plane. I did not pay for tickets. That's anarchy right there. Excuse me. Do you know of a club for uh, like a sex or drug or something like that? Um, I don't. Sorry. No? Yes, information. Yeah. The information. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Heimel. Uh, I'm lonely and I have no friends. I am. Uh, I'm down. Excuse me, where is the Big Apple? Excuse me, do you know the Big Apple? Excuse me, do you know where the Big Apple is? Mm -hmm. uh, the Big Apple. It's that way. It's uh, the best city I've been to before, and I've been up and down the coast. Un momento. Ciao. You take camera. You take picture, camera. OK. OK, you take. I'm looking for the Walmart, the Kmart, the Best Buy, the Mini Mall, the roller coaster, and the zoo, and a soda. Do you know where uh, uh, Arbolado Street is? Arbolado Street? Yeah. Not at all. Okay. All you do is you go straight this way, three blocks, and then uh, you take a left, and it's right there. Thank you. Uh, how do you say? Uh, jazz. Um, and no, it's um, jazz music. You're looking for a jazz club. Yes, how do you say that? Jazz club. Yes, jazz, jazz club. I don't want this. No, 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 you take camera, I smile. Okay. That's a Chicago. Yes, we in Chicago. Oh, I see. Are we in Chicago? No, this is New York. Here we're in New York. I'm sorry. This is New York? I think I was tricked. Thank you. Uh, well, that's yes. Um, bye uh, bye. Um, bye bye. Are we really going to get wet on this ride? I just got my hair done. Sweetie. Can you just try to have a good time since it's your birthday? You're right. Taking me to Universal Studios is as good as going to Paris after all. <laughs> oh, babe, look, two seats in this one. Oh, come on, shake a butt. I'm coming, by. Yeah, oh, it's a little shaky this oh, thing. All right. I got Is that you. my hand? I got your hand, babe. I'm excited to see real dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah, but they're not real, babe. They're stuffed. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, my God, Jean, look at this. No freaking way. I haven't seen you in what, like two, three years? Oh, it's crazy, huh? Well, you know, last time I saw you, you was with your wife. Yeah, will you guys break up? No, this is her. <laughs> oh, whoa, what happened to you, honey? What does that mean? Is that good or bad? Hey, you, you remember Gemma, huh? Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm British. This is my pig, Pipsqueak. Yeah. She's British, too. <laughs> Okay, folks, welcome to Jurassic River Rapids. As a reminder, this ride does get wet, so you will want to secure your valuables in the center console there. And I'm sorry, is that a pig? Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is your pig, right, babe? Yeah, it's a mini pig. Look, we dress a lot. Uh. Hey, hey. Hey, Jean, she dresses like a pig, huh? How hot is that, huh? Hey, you about to pop through those buttonfly shorts. Jean, you're not going to bust your new shorts, are you? I hope not. Just don't. 
Okay, well, uh, I still can't let you have any animals on the ride, so I guess I'm gonna have to hold him for you. Oh, Sorry okay. about that. Oh. Good boy, peeps. Mommy's gonna miss you, but I'll only be gone for like four minutes. I'll just come back and look for Come on, Mommy. Hey, Jean, hey, Jean, hey, hey, she's talking that sexy piggy talk. Bedtime talk to the pig, huh? Is your fly as strained as mine, Jean? Uh -huh. I can hear my zipper going, oh, 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 I can't hold it. I can't hold it. Hey, what, what, what do you think your buttons sound like, Jean? I don't know, maybe like boop. Oh. Does boop mean your button pops, Jean? Oh, careful, he bites and kicks. Okay, uh, make sure you're all buckled in and uh, watch out for those velociraptors. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, wow, we're moving. Hey, I know, all right, here we go. Dino time, like that skinny black guy used to say, right? Mm -hmm. I think, I think he used to say Dino Mike. Yeah. I got a song called Dino Mike. Oh, yeah. Gemma's a singer. You remember that? Oh, yeah. I actually do. You have a lovely voice. Gene, duck. Oh. oh, my God. Why did you just tell him to duck? Oh, because I don't know your name, girl. Well, my name. Hey, hang on, hang on. Gemma was about to sing. She sings. You can, you can tell us after. Hey, Gene, duck. Why? Oh, you should have told me your name, I guess. Hey, give me a beat, right? Oh, you got a beat. Boom, boom, blast. Hey, boom, boom, blast. Hey, got all in the cab, shaking the ass. Girls, I'll tell, cause I'm the best. But boy, you better run, cause I'm dangerous. That's why they call me Dynamite. I just might blow you away. Boom, boom, boom blast. blast. Hey! Oh, hey. Uh, that was really great, right, honey? Well, I would dance to that. Hey, hey, Gene, tell your friend the talk. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the ride. By the way, you weren't lying. This pig kicks and bites and is very nasty. Hey, 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 don't you talk about Gene's wife that way. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, I, I'm talking about the pig. Hey, it's his wife, dude. Oh, hey, can you help me? My, my seatbelt is stuck. Oh, nice. Hey, you get to go twice, honey. But I don't want to go twice. Can you just have fun, honey? Bye, Gene's wife. Culture, history, spaghetti. These are the things of a boot country called Italia. Hello, I'm Joe Romano of Romano Tours. For two generations, my family has provided high quality tours of Italy to people from all over the world, but mostly Long Island and Jersey. We saw all of Italy in a bus, okay? We ate every day incredible. Yeah, I got to look at the Pope and he even told me happy birthday. Thanks, Thanks Romano, Romano Tours. tours. Explore the old country with our award-winning 10-day vacation packages. See Venice, the city of wetness. Point and laugh at the Tower of Pisa. And play with some dough in Napoli. People love us, but every so often a customer leaves a review that they weren't, they were disappointed or didn't have as much fun as they thought. So here at Romano Tours, we always remind our customers, if you're sad now, you might still feel sad there, okay? You understand that makes sense? Our tours will take you to the most beautiful places on Earth. Hike the cliffs of the Amalfi Coast. Fish with the nets in Sorrento. Do this, I don't know. But remember, you're still gonna be you on vacation. If you are sad where you are, and then you get on a plane to Italy, to you in Italy will be the same sad you from before, just in a new place. Does that make sense? There's a lot of vacation can do. Help you unwind, see some different looking squirrels, but it cannot fix deeper issues, like how you behave in group settings, or your general baseline mood. That's a job for incremental lifestyle changes sustained over time. I want to be very clear about what we can do for you. We can take you on a hike. We cannot turn you into someone who likes hiking. We can take you to the Italian Riviera. We cannot make you feel comfortable in a bathing suit. We can provide the zip line. We cannot give you the ability to say we and mean it. 
You're not your sister. We can provide you with a wine tasting tour of Tuscany. We cannot change why you drink or the person you become when you do, OK? I'm sorry, but it's true. And our friendly tour guides are happy to take your picture. But remember, the pictures you're in are going to have you in them. And if you don't like how you look back home, it's not going to get any better on a gondola. Right before we went in the Vatican, he took my face in his hands and he said, if you feel bad about yourself in a church back home, the Vatican is 100% wall-to-wall church. Mm -hmm. So we went for 20 minutes, and then uh, we went back to the hotel and watched Paddington, too. Yeah, the best. <laughs> Love the Vatican. This may sound rude, but I'm trying to temper expectations. I hate seeing people beat themselves up on my toys. It really gets to me. And please, if you and your partner are having trouble connecting, we guarantee our tour will not help. <laughs> If you don't want to touch each other at home, be reminded, in Italy, you will have those same bodies and thoughts. <laughs> You're not blindfold strawberry eaters in Mamaroneck. Why start in Sicily? <laughs> Look, a day is a long time to feel happy for all of it. Most of us get 45 minutes, if we're lucky. And that's our motto at Romano Tours. Romano Tours. We make memories, not miracles.